So one of the most important things of monitoring and timing insecticides for the control of the annual bluegrass weevil larvae uh, is how they are progressing in, in the various instars. Uh, and the first, second, and third instar are on the inside of the plant. Uh, therefore, monitoring them using a knife or using a plug in the field can be quite difficult. Uh, also, Weevil Track relies on the timely information of how those larvae are progressing. So uh, we have to sample uh, using a salt solution uh, and able to determine what life cycle or stage insect pest is in. Uh, how we do that and the easiest way that we have found to do that uh, would be to use either a cup cutter, a four and a quarter inch cup cutter, uh, or a two inch plugger such as this. Uh, pull multiple plugs from untreated turf or treated turf if you wanted to check to see if you got good control. Uh, and then you cut that soil off of that plug. Uh, all you really need is that soil thatch interface right below the stem bases. Uh, we trim the grass off because generally poannual seeds can look a lot like very early instar larvae. So we actually clean the poannua seeds off of that grass uh, using scissors uh, and then compressed air. Uh, and then you will cut that plug into force. Uh, you put that into a salt solution or a brine. How that brine is made is I use one pound of a cheap sodium chloride salt uh, per gallon of water. Uh, and we mix that salt solution up really well and we pour that into a mason jar with those plugs. Uh, we shake the mason jar very well and you let it sit for about 10 or 12 minutes. Uh, what will happen is, is those instar, early instar larvae will actually be forced out of the stem base uh, and then they come to the surface and float. Uh, those real little ones can be very, very difficult to see and sometimes you will need a hand lens uh, to be able to make sure they are a white larvae with a brown head capsule and they are annual bluegrass people larvae. Uh, the later instar ones are very easy to see. Uh, they float to the top and you can discern them from other things in the solution. So after about 10 to 12 minutes, and sometimes it takes longer, uh, the, the larvae will actually exit the stem. We, we've been able to find some large instar larvae uh, using this technique. I use a knife. Generally, they're, they're attracted to the knife and you're able to actually uh, pull them straight out of the, the solution using some metal forceps or a pocket knife is pretty easy.